Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So for today's video po, ang ating gagawin ay writing the first five terms in the given sequence. So we have here the formula dito po sa ating taas. Okay, and we have here the value of our n. Ito yung first five terms na kukunin natin following the formula given. So how do we solve for this? Start with the second column. So we now have here the value of n. So 6n. So sabi dito 6n. So how do we solve for this? We will just substitute the value of our n. So for the first value of n, it is 1. So if n is 1, okay, so 6 times 1 is equal to 6. Okay, so meaning, for the first term, sa 6 and the value is 6. Okay, so when you see a number and a variable, and then we substitute the value of the variable, we will just multiply them together in order to get the product or the answer. So, ulitin natin, kapag merong number at merong letter, kapag pinalitan na natin yung value ng letter, kapag magkadikit na, Ang dalawang number, ibig sabihin po niyan ay multiplication. So, we will just multiply. Kaya po ang nakuha natin ay 6. Okay, next, what if the value of n is 2? So, 6n. 6, substitute the value of n. Ito, yung n natin ay 2. So, 6 times 2, that is 12. So, ibig sabihin, if n is 2, 6n is equal to 12. Okay, next, what if the value of n is 3? So, 6n pa rin. Ito yun. So, si 6, si n, palitan natin ng 3. So, 6 times 3, that is 18. So, we'll get 18. So, if the value of n is 4, 6 times 4, that is 24. If the value of n is 5, 6 times 5, that is 30. So, our first 5... Uh, terms sa 6n ay 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. So, next formula is 2n plus 5. Okay, so if the value of n is 1, what is now the first term? So, 2 times 1, substitute si n ng 1, plus 5. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 5, that is 7. Okay, so the first term here is 7. Next, if the value of n is 2, 2n plus 5, ito po yan, 2n plus 5. If the value of n is 2, so it's 2 times 2 plus 5. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 5, that gives us 9. Okay, so the value is 9. If the value of n, ayan si n, ay 3, so let's just substitute. Ayan, ay sinang natin, 2n plus 5. So, si n ay papalitan ng 3. So, 2 times 3 plus 5. So, this is 15 plus 5. Ah, sorry, 6 plus 5. So, that gives us the answer, 11. Okay? So, ano po yung susunod? Kung ang value ng ating n ay 4. So, 2 times 4 plus 5. So, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 5. That is 13. Yan, sa tapat ng 4. If the value of n is 5, ano kaya yung value natin dito? So, it's 2n plus 5. Change, uh, substitute the value of n. So, 2 times 5, ito yung 5 plus 5. So, it becomes 10 plus 5. So, the answer is 15. So, our first 5 terms in the given formula 2n plus 5 or the given rule 2n plus 5 is 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. Okay, next rule or formula is 2n plus n squared. Ito po yun, 2n plus n squared. So, what is our first term if the value of n is 1? So, palitan lang natin ito ng 1. So, 2 times 1 plus n squared. So, following the gem das, unahin natin yung may grouping symbols. 2 times 1. Okay, that's 2. Plus 1 squared is equal to 1 pa rin. So, 2 plus 1, that is 3. 
So, our first term is 3. Next, what if the value of n is 2? Let's just substitute the value of n na 2. So, 2 times 2 plus 2 squared. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 2 squared. The luwang 2 multiply together, that is 4. So, 4 plus 4 is 8. So, our second term is 8. Next po, what if the value of Rn is 3? Sorry, this is a squared. Ayan. So, let's just substitute n by 3. Yung 3. Okay, so plus 3 squared. So, 2 times 3, that is 6. Plus 3 squared, 3 times 3, that is 9. 6 plus 9 is 15. So, the answer here is 15. Okay, so next, what if the value of n is 4? So, 2n plus n squared, 2 times 4 plus 4 squared. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 4 squared is 16. 8 plus 16, that is 16 plus 8, 24. Okay, so the answer here is 24. Okay, last, what if the value of our n is 5? So, 2n plus n squared. 2 times 5, 5 squared. So, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 5 squared is 25. 10, ah, sorry, ito pala. 10 plus 25, that is 35. So, the answer here is 35. Okay, so this is, these are, these are first five terms in the formula 2n plus n squared. We have 3, 8, 15, 24, 35. Next, for our next rule, we have n squared plus 1. So again, let us solve for this by substituting the value of n. So let's substitute n as 1. So 1 squared plus 1, 1 squared is 1. Plus 1, that gives us 2. So, our first term here is 2. Next, what if the value of n is 2? So, 2 squared plus 1, we have 4 plus 1. So, the answer is 5. Second term. What, is, what if the value of n is 3? So, n squared plus 1. We have 3 squared plus 1. Nine, uh, 3 squared is equal to 9. Plus 1, we have 10. So, the answer here is 10. Next, what if the value of n is 4? So, substitute 4 squared plus 1. We have 16 plus 1. The answer is 17. Okay? Okay, so this is 17. And lastly, if the value of our n is 5. So, 5 squared plus 1. 5 squared is equal to 25 plus 1. That is 26. So, the answer here is 26. And lastly, we have the rule or the formula quantity of n minus 3 plus 3n. Okay, so if the value of n is 1, again, let's just substitute 1 minus 3 plus 3 times 1. 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 2 plus 3 times 1, that is 3. So, uh, follow the rules in integers, adding integers, so the answer here is positive 1. Okay, next. If the value of n is 2, okay, so let's just substitute 2 minus 3 plus 3 times 2. 2 minus 3, that is negative 1, plus 3 times 2, that's 6. So, negative 1 plus 6 is positive 5. So, our second term is positive 5. Okay, next. n minus 3 plus 3n. So, if n is 3, ayan. So, if n is 3, 3 minus 3 plus 3 times 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. 3 times 3 is 9. So, the value of n is 9. For fourth term, n minus 3 plus 3n. So, 4 minus 3 plus 3 times 4. 4 minus 3 is 1 plus 3 times 4 is 12. So, the answer is 
13. Okay, and lastly, n minus 3 plus 3n. If the value is 5, so 5 minus 3 plus 3 times 5. 5 minus 3 is 2 plus 3 times 5 is 15. 2 plus 5 is 17. Uh, 2 plus 15 is 17. Okay, so our value here is 17. So that is how we solve for the next terms, okay, sa ating mga sequence. And so, these are now our first five terms given the rules or uh, formula sa ating mga sequence. So, I hope you have learned in today's lesson or we have refreshed ourselves. So, thank you for watching.